Hello and welcome back to TCG Dreamland. I've finally got a Brilliant Stars booster box. So this set, as you probably know, has a subset in it, the Trainer Gallery. And uh, because of that, you can actually get a good hit in a pack with the white border. So I was thinking, you know, because usually I just, you know, kind of skip through the uh, the white code packs because I'm trying to get through the whole box, you know, 36 packs for Pokemon, unlike some of the other card games. You know, I'm trying to go fast. So I was thinking, and I think I'm going to do a modified version of the card trick. Although this one's black, so let's give you the code cards. There you go. So one, two, three, four, and then we'll take these two. And then that means that these ones should just be five commons. Yes. Okay. So that's how I'm going to do the trick for this set. And probably the next few also, because they're all going to be like that. Bear Tick, Fracture, Tropius. We've got Ice Q Reverse and our first hit. Okay, not really a hit, but uh, I'll take a Professor Rowan. It's not bad. All right, next pack. Been a while since I recorded a video. Oh, another one. Another hit. There's your code. I kind of recorded a whole bunch of videos all at once, and then I've just been uploading one every day. So it's actually been kind of a little while for me. Morgrim. And Claydol. Executor. Marnie's Pride. Very cool, very cool. And, oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that is a great way to start our first box of Brilliant Stars. That is fantastic. This is probably the card I actually wanted the most out of this set. I'm not like a huge Charizard fan. I mean, Charizard's cool and all, but uh, this is the card I wanted the most from this set. So that is absolutely amazing. All right, sleeve that up right away. Hold on. That was on the sleeve. Okay. You know what? Let's take a look at it. I have opened some, like, individual packs of Brilliant Stars, but I haven't opened a full box yet. You know, the centering, it's a little bit diagonal. If you've watched my other Pokemon videos, you know the little, the slightly diagonal really irks me. Really grinds my gears, but that's just Pokemon for you. So fantastic. That is amazing. That's the alt art, by the way, in case you didn't know. That is the alt art Arceus V. Very nice. Well, I guess that's it. That was the card I wanted. Oh, no, just kidding. Just kidding. I mean, that was the alt art, so there's probably no alt art Charizard. Oh, now that I think about it, the alt art Charizard is pretty amazing. And we're just going to go like that. Those should be commons. So it was a white code, so just looking for a trainer gallery. Ooh, a Golurk rare. And a Morgrim. Okay, so nothing out of that pack. That in frame, it is kind of in frame. Okay. If you've been watching the channel, you know I've been opening a lot of other boxes besides Pokemon. You know what we'll do? Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how I can make this go faster for the ones that aren't hits. Ooh, an Ultra Ball is nice. Tropius. Ooh, there we go. Trainer Gallery. Single Strike Style Mustard. Trainer. Full Art Trainer. Very cool. Uh, 
Uh, but what I was getting at was that basically every other card game, besides Pokemon and Magic, they're 24-pack booster boxes. So whenever I do a Pokemon box, it's always a lot longer. Or it seems like it's taken a lot longer to me. Because it has three halves as many packs. There's another additional 12 on top of the 24 that you get out of other games. Chimchar Reverse. Heatran. I'll tell you what, for white code packs, I'm just going to do the last two. And I'll do a, do a reveal. So one, two, three, four. Should be these two. And then I'll switch those. So this should be just the rare and the trainer card. Oh, we got one. Wow, that was perfect timing. Vaporeon. There you go. Very cool. Unfortunately, the yellow border with the English version, but I'll still take it. Trainer cards are very cool. That one's not bad. Definitely not the worst trainer card to get. Ooh, a black coat. Very nice. that. So we have Luxio, Hitmon Top, Magma Basin, Reverse Grimer, and an Empoleon Hollow Rare. All right. Code for you. Should be just these two cards, and we'll flip them around like that. So our rare is Star Raptor and a Luxio. So I, I noticed this real quick. I wanted to show you. Look at the top edge on this card. That's the first one I've seen like that. I think. Man, what happened with this card? You know, sometimes it just seems like the machines. Oh, let's focus. The machines. It kind of seems like. Uh, the whatever, you know, the blade that cuts the cards. I don't know exactly how the machines work, but I'm sure there's a there's some kind of blade that cuts the cards. And it's like, you know, they're they're printing hundreds of thousands of cards. So it's like, you know, just a matter of time before the blade goes dull, I guess. And sometimes it's like you get a card with a, a not clean edge. That's unfortunate. I think I need to do that. So we've got... Sharon's Care, all right. All right, Black Code, there we go. That. So, we've got Dusclops, Morgrim, Gabite, Choice Belt, Reverse, Oh, Cynthia's Ambition, Rainbow. Wow, so we got an alt art and a rainbow secret rare out of this box already. Cynthia's Ambition. Very nice. So two regular set hits and two trainer gallery hits so far. And our regular set hits have been very good. I mean, in terms of rarity, I mean, there are better cards than Cynthia's Ambition, but in terms of rarity, that one is pretty darn good. It's the Rainbow Secret Rare. Wow, look how off-center that card is. Good thing it's just the energy. All right, Tropius, Ultra Ball, Morgrim, Claydol Reverse, and a Raikou V, all right, very cool. All right, white coat, so we'll just skip and do that. Square those up. We've got Kling Kling Rare and Cub Chew Reverse, all right. No trainer gallery. So 
So a typical box has eight hits, but this set, because of the trainer gallery, it averages about 11, I think, because I think you average about three character cards. Boss's Order is very cool. With Cyrus, that's his name, right? Soon to be Silene in the next set. Not too far from Astral Radiance now, there's a Silene in that set based off of Cyrus. All right, Vibrava, Tropius, Claydol, Clefable Reverse, and an Infernape Hollow. Very cool. All right, White Code. This Cavalier is the rare and a Golet. Oh, very nice. I actually really like Golet and Golurk. So I might keep this one. I'll probably keep this one. I mean, I'm sure it's not really worth anything. So it's worth more to me because I like the card than the, you know, 10 cents I'll get for it. So <laughs> or the two cents if I just sell it to someone else who sells bulk. And another super offset energy, that's weird. Magma Basin, Crawdont, Ultra Ball, Lipard. Oh, okay. Uh, this is our second alt art of the box. We got two alt arts in this box. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, so I was like, well, we got that Arceus. I guess my Charizard hopes are dashed. Apparently not. Possible to get two alt arts in the same box, I guess. That is a first. I don't know if I've ever seen two alt arts in one box before. We're going to move this here. Wow, same box. Interesting. Okay, and that was still the first half of the box, too. We either have... An amazing box, or Brilliant Star's hit rates are even better than I realized, because that is crazy. Alright, Freshwater Set, Sigilith, Marnie's Pride, Axew, very cute, and Arceus V. Got the regular Arceus V to go with our Arceus V alt art. Very cool. I mean, as you know, you know, I'm a, I'm a collector slash investor. And uh, the alt arts are really where the value is for these sets that have them. Haxorus and, ooh, a Flareons. We got two Evolution. Two of the three, I think all three of them are in this set. There should be Jolteon as well. That would be funny if we get all three. <laughs> get a Vaporeon, a Flareon, and a Jolteon out of one box. That would be cool. Um, but what was I saying? About the alt arts, that's right. So the alt arts are really what I see as, you know, the big hitters. You know, I think the the kind of the second half of the Sun and Moon era had alt arts, and now the second half of the uh, the Sword and Shield era have alt arts. Those are really the big hitters. So, if you pull an alt art, I think it would be worth keeping. Oh, this was a black code, wasn't it? Kind of messed that up, didn't I? Flygon. 
Put that up there. So we're at nine hits already. Only like a couple packs into the second half of the box. This is an amazing box. Although we might have a streak of white codes now, but we should still get a trainer gallery. Actually, no, we're at three, so it's possible we get a trainer gallery, but not guaranteed. Buizel. Ooh, that card. Look at the back of this rare there. Look at the side. It's all messed up. Well, I guess that's the reverse, huh? Oh, no! I was just commenting about how bad the side of this card was, and it's a trainer rare. Eevees. Oh, so we got... I was joking about if we got all three of the evolutions, but we got two of them and the Eevee. <laughs> so there we go. So there's three regular trainer gallery and then we got the full art trainer from the trainer gallery so wow this this could be an amazing box statistically statistically i said that weird statistically we should get two more hits but we've got most of the second half of the box left so we're either going to have an amazing box or an incredibly boring next few packs. Got Roseanne's backup reverse and a Moltres hollow. There's the, uh, the gold secret rare version of the Galarian bird trio in this set. There's, there's actually a lot of good stuff in this set. It's not... Not the best set, but there is a lot of good cards in this set. You got Charizard, Arceus. Here we have a Wormadam. <laughs> and another Wormadam. Um, got Charizard, Arceus. Got uh, the Galarian Bird Trio. And then in the Trainer Gallery, you have Umbreon, Sylveon, and Mimikyu. Apparently, people really like Mimikyu. It was kind of a... A thing in the in the show he was like you know really creepy and weird but uh, apparently there's a lot of people that like creepy and weird <laughs> or maybe they just don't watch the anime I've watched basically all of the anime up until the most recent season not really sure why people like Mimikyu but apparently they do Okay, you know what? Because we're, we should be out of trainer gallery cards, so I'm just going to skin the white codes now. We should have gotten all of our trainer gallery cards. So the white codes, I'm just going to skim through as usual. Okay. This one, however, is a black border. So, Freshwater Set, Sigilith, Marnie's Pride, Gloria Reverse, cool. And a Marnie's Pride Full Art. Wow, this is a great box. Holy cow, this is an absolutely amazing box. Wow, two alt arts, two full art trainers, one of them being Rainbow. I usually don't sleeve up cards during the video, but, you know, some of these cards are fantastic. You know, the set, even though it's still pretty new, is holding value pretty well. I mean, box prices are going for about MSRP. But also, if you look at the number of cards above, you know, $10, there's quite a few. Oh, uh, this was white, right? So, probably nothing. Because we got all our trainer galleries so far. So, wow. Yeah. 
we got, if you include the trainer gallery full art trainer, we've gotten three full art trainers out of this box. Code for you. And we got a throw and a cling clang. All right, I can see we're at 20 minutes already. I'm gonna try to speed up the last few packs. Should get, statistically, we should get one more hit. It's probably going to be a V. Might be a full art Pokemon, that would be cool. Uh, that was a white coat, so... Ooh, a Golet. Gibble and Flygon. On to the next pack, and my bulk pile just fell over. Black Border, this could be our hit. I'm just going to give them to you upside down. Go like that. All right, so we've got Choice Belt, Vibrava, Staravia, Buizel, Reverse, and Torterra. So that is... I don't think we've gotten Empoleon yet. We've gotten... Torterra and Infernape. I don't recall getting Empoleon. Ooh, another black code, though. Black Border. This could be our Empoleon. <laughs> Not that I'm really trying to get Empoleon, but... I like seeing things like that. Getting all the evolutions, getting all three of the starters, random things like that. Semi Seer V. All right, so that's our fourth V. We've got three packs left. Give you the code. And Blunder Policy, Reverse, and Tornadus. All right. Oh, there was actually four left, so there's three left now. Four. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hashtag callback from like 20 vids ago. We've got Clefairy and Escavalier. Whoops, a daisy. White code. We've got Grottle and Haxorus and the code. Man, look at that. Look at that mat. That is just a mat full of cards. That's why Brilliant Stars is so amazing right there. That is a play mat full of hits. All right, last pack magic. Should have already gotten all of our trainer cards. But you never know. I'm just going to do it quick. Because Electivire. Hollow Electivire would be cool. Impidimp. All right. So, wasn't expecting adding anything out of that pack. But Trainer Gallery, Flareon Vaporeon, as well as Eevee and Mustard, Single Strike Style Mustard Full Art. Very cool. So that's our four trainer gallery. This uh, wrap, this single strike, rather, single strike mustard full art actually might be a pretty good one. You know, it's it's not Umbreon, but still pretty good. Then we have Cynthia's Ambition and Marnie's Pride. So look at this two full art trainers out of the regular set. Very nice. Cynthia's Ambition. And Marnie's Pride. Marnie's Pride is a very good hit. And look at this. Two alt arts out of the same box. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. So there you go. There's our box. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed opening it. It was my first box I've opened in quite a while. 
So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.